What's up guys and welcome back to another computer craft tutorial. I don't have my texture pack on. Let's uh let's change that. I don't like this pack on. Oh the text is messed up. There we go. That's better. Into my beautiful infinite yard. Um anyways, uh today we're gonna actually work on a little bit of the functionality of our operating system that we made last time. I do have to uh correct one thing that I did wrong. In the last one, I actually misplaced something. Like if you guys uh, followed along, uh, enter wouldn't have worked. So like press enter, nothing would have happened. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit our dot menu. It's just quick, and we're gonna go all the way down to uh, what line was it on? Right here. It was on line 70. There was an end here, and I put that a little bit early. It should actually be right here. So you just switch the it used to be like this and nothing there and you just swap it around so whoops uh, just exit not to save that so it, the end should be under the break instead of there all right so this time we're gonna run our dot menu because I have a an escape disk in right now so that I can get back to the command line um, so we got our menu here I don't know why that moves over it's just probably a problem with one of the things in there. I'm too lazy to go check it out. But uh, we're going to add the command line program so you can access that from uh, from your operating system. And uh, we're also going to add the programs menu, which I actually already added. Um, it's basically the exact same thing as the this, uh, this thing. Like if you, we go to it, I already have it here. It's literally the same code for uh, for the start menu. And we're also going to add the, uh, the back thing because right now, oh, it does work. Strange. I didn't think I added that. Anyway, so we're gonna get it out here. Uh, let's see what we have in here. Um, so we have this new folder called OS, and if you need to make this folder, which you will have to make, you can do mkdir and then OS, and that's where we're gonna keep everything, but I already have it, uh, which is right there. Um, and then we're gonna navigate to it so you go CD OS and um, you can't see it in here but there's a dot programs in here and that's the reason why you put the dot in front of it is to hide it from uh, looking in the directory just to declutter it but we're gonna create a new file so we're gonna do edit and uh, uh, it's gonna be dot command so we're gonna make our command prompt um, basically uh, yeah, let's go into that. Basically, we're just gonna um, create a kind of an escape to the, the command prompt from uh, from the main OS, which you could eventually make it if you have like a authentication system or something like that on uh, on your PC. You can make it so that uh, if you have elevated privileges, you can get make it to command prompt. But if you don't, then it doesn't allow you to get to the console, so you can change stuff. But uh, we can clear and then we can set our cursor cursor position and I'm going to set it to 1 1 and that is not the right button 1 1 and then we're just going to uh, use the print command and say uh, welcome to our command prompt sure why not and then, uh, how about we give ourselves an instruction? Because we're going to make a back command, so you can always get back to the uh, the menu. So let's say uh, to return to the uh, menu, um, type, and we'll use single quotes uh, back. Oops. And then we'll close that. And then uh, let's just make a divider type thing here. So let's do this so we can differentiate from the uh, the um, text. And then under here, uh, we shouldn't need anything actually. It should just go to the the uh, command after that. So we'll save and exit. And then if we run dot command should bring us up and then we have our command here 
and we can't type back because there's no such program yet. And even if we go to top level, oops, cd dot dot brings you up a level, so now we're back in the root directory. Um, back. So we don't have that yet. Uh, let's create that. So we're going to edit uh, back. I don't remember if this needs to go in. Yeah, it needs to go here. And now we're just going to do shell dot run. And we're going to run dot menu. And it'll bring us back to our menu. And that should be it. So if we type in back, it should bring us back to our menu. There we go. So now we have that. We have our command. So now, since we programmed it last time to go to that directory, uh, when you press enter on this, uh, this command, it should take us to our command. And then we can type back. And we can go back to our menu. And that works pretty good. So um, the programs thing, I'm going to show you the code for. Um, uh, we're going to edit uh, os slash um, dot programs. Uh, you can create that in the os thing. Basically, it's the exact same thing. I'll kind of go through it here. Um, scroll through. You can uh, copy that if you would like. It's basically the same thing as the uh, the original one. It's got the same uh, key functions. And all I did basically was change the, uh, the option conditions, which uh, this is pulled from our, uh, our other one. So we can exit that. And then, so if we go to dot menu, whoops, actually, we just reboot. Actually, never mind. I, I've got. Uh, if you have the OS pull event raw thing, if you put a disk in here, I just call it escape, and then you have um, something like ha add a startup program, like edit startup on the disk, and then put something in it. I just think I just put random shit in it. Um, it'll just pull an error when you try and boot off the disk. So we'll escape. Rain, please. Slash toggle down uh, so it'll escape to the main menu. Um, so we want to go to the menu. So our programs menu. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the email later. I didn't actually create the code for this. It's um, some code from uh, uh, another YouTuber. Uh, I, I got to go over and make your go over it and make sure it actually still works in uh, this new version of ComputerCraft. Uh, and send and get file. I'll show you guys how to make that. That's a networking thing. And then back should work now. Nice. Um, and I guess we could, we don't have that. Oh yeah, never mind. That just, that shuts down. It doesn't have to make a program for that. So let's go back into dot menu. Uh, so we have programs command. We can make the uninstall program actually. Um, I think that one's a little bit lengthier because I have to create some graphical interface. So I think let's just pull this out and see how our operating system works. Uh, reboot. So it should start up. We should get our loading. Thing. And there's our, our menu here. We can go to command prompt. We can go to back. Uh, we can go to programs and go back. Shutdown works and uninstall should be no such program. So we can go back to top menu. And then, uh, yeah. So I think that's uh, that's just adding functionality to our, um, our operating system so far. Next time, I'm going to go over the uninstall. Uh, and install it like we're gonna make our ourselves an installation disk so you can plug in a disk into a computer and it'll install the operating system for you and then have an uninstall option as well I think that's what I'm gonna get into next week in our operating systems tutorial part three so in here um, that works uh, I'll show you let's see if these actually work no okay so there's no mode. Oh, there's a modem. I just have to edit the code a little bit, see if that works. So, and then the week after that, we'll do some networking stuff. But for now, uh, I think that's about it. So, if you guys enjoyed, found this helpful, uh, leave a like. That helps me out a lot. Lets me know that you um, enjoy the content. And uh, I think that's that's it. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.